How y'all doing today? Welcome to uh, Brock and Braden. Um, who owns America today? I guess I could move that so y'all could see us. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. But anyway, back to uh, who owns America today with Brock and Braden. This is my son Braden. I'm Brock. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about who owns America today. As you know, there's a lot going on with ISIS. Um, a lot of things being said. Putin has already told us in Russia that the CIA and Americans are responsible for putting ISIS there to destabilize Syria. Sorry. Um, anyway, that's been exposed. So ISIS has actually become a state and has set up a. Uh, they've actually set up a, a little town where they tax people. They. Um, They've got little businesses. The only place they wouldn't show is the women, the, the, where they sexually enslave women. These guys are being funded by sugar daddies in the United States and other countries to fight wars for money. Okay? They will fight anybody as long as they are paid. They're a bunch of thugs, felons, that are fighting wars for money. Now, to go all the way back to the Federal Reserve, when J.P. Morgan um, basically pushed the Federal Reserve and made the government, uh, United States President, sign an executive order to push the Federal Reserve and let the banking systems own America and turn it into the United States America of Corporation, which let the London banks own us. Those are who we consider Illuminati Bilderberg guys today because they still exist. J.P. Morgan on that Supreme Court had everybody sunk on that Titanic that he built that had any questions in mind about voting against him. And um, I let Braden watch that little video on this before we uh, did this segment about who owns America, which uh, I just told y'all basically who owns America um, is the same who's always on it. Bilderberg, Illuminati group. They control the TVs, what goes on through mainstream media, what they want you to see. Um, and I believe as Christians, we, we need to know what we're up against. We need to know our enemy because they know us. And, and they, are, they, are put, they are plotting against us every day. They're infiltrating our churches. Now, when I say infiltrating our churches, I mean, when I'm in church, I know when the presence of God is in there with me. And I know when there's an infiltrated demonic person sitting there that ain't there for the presence of God like I am. I can feel that. They eventually infiltrated our churches. You don't believe they infiltrate churches? Go back to Malcolm X when he was kicked out of the Muslim religion and uh, the FBI make a, had a recording of a tape that was leaked, uh, watched it yesterday, on they wanted all the info he knew on Muhammad because he had just caught and busted Muhammad <coughs> sleeping with all these young girls and impregnating them and Muhammad said it's part of the prophecy and then Malcolm X started exposing it. Well, the FBI wanted secret intelligence. They wanted to know all they could about Muhammad. Now, either Muhammad was a political, big political figure that was a scheme put up as the Muslim religion, and they wanted to know what he knew so they didn't could know whether to assassinate him or not, or they wanted to know what he knew because they were already in plan, in making of studying the Muslim religion, the elitists were, on finding out how they could infiltrate the Muslim religion and create ISIS. Now, when I say this, I'm talking about America's in $26 trillion debt. We just had had some of that debt that needed to be paid. We had a trillion something dollars of, of a secret uh, secret funder in Belgium pay us out of debt. Now, who would that be? Who would be that secret person who sent us a trillion dollars? Well, where do you think we get our oil? Turkey. Where do you think Tur Turkey's getting their oil right now? Off the black market from ISIS. You see where I'm going with this? Okay, we're, we're, in, a, we're in a crisis. Our dollar's failing. Christians, we need to be aware of what's going on. So me, me and my son, have been, we've, I've spent my whole life seeking the truth. And I always made a vow to my son that I wouldn't lie to him. I would tell him the truth no matter what. And so, you know, it, it's kind of hard when I hear what he's being taught sometimes in school that are lies. We, we go and we, we research this stuff. We watch hundreds of videos together. We, we figure we get to the bottom of the truth and then we want to tell you guys. Well, what what we found together and you can bet I wouldn't tell my son about it if it wasn't true so uh, there's some spots you can go check out go uh, you can search who owns America you'll see the first video it looks like an old school it's black and white click on that it's a really good historic video um, that will tell you all the facts we just covered just now uh, 
basically people the best thing you can invest in is gold um, this ain't a real piece but if you do need to get some you can uh, email trailerbluebookvalue.com and click on the link on that page and that's where you can find a good they're, they're a private company but they're trusted uh, if they have any I, I don't it's hard to get real gold right now uh, but that's what I would say money is the best thing you put in right now. It's going to go up when the dollar goes down. It always does. Um, Brayden, what's your take on this, son? What, what do you, uh, you got anything you want to say? Or add to what I said? Mm, I think that basically who owns America is ISIS. Basically. ISIS? No, I, ISIS, is the, it's the people that are on top of ISIS. It's the people controlling ISIS that put ISIS there. Um, people are very secretive and they they are, they have an agenda they created World War one with the Russian whole deal they created the communist World War two on the Jews the Holocaust and they are now creating World War three with Russian America and ISIS America and the war against Christians and Muslims and uh, if you check out the new FBI terrorist list you will see that Orthodox Christians and people who believe they're in the army of God Christian extremists are all said to be watched uh, terrorists, to be watched as domestic terrorists. Um, so we're being labeled people. We are being labeled, we are being, there's war being wedged upon us that we can't see. And uh, just just keep your eyes and ears open. And, and if you're if you're a person of God, you believe, then you know there's hope. We have faith in God that he will protect us, but we also have to know that we have to do our end. And, and, and when I say that we're Christians, don't think, we're all about just peace. You don't come up in our driveway and mess with my family or you'll get war. That's, that's what kind of Christians we are. We protect each other. We love each other. And uh, we, we know that God is for us. So if you want to be against us, bring it. Anyway, that's all we got to say today. We uh, really had a good day in church. Learned a lot. Um,